Welcome back to Recap Central. Today I'm going to explain a fantasy film called Every Day. Spoilers ahead. Subscribe for more videos like this. A is a traveling spirit that possesses the body of a teen every single day. One day A wakes up in Justin Smith's body. He takes a selfie and sets a timer for 11 p.m. and 11:50 p.m. Rhiannon is Justin's girlfriend. She loves him but he constantly ignores her and doesn't treat her well. At school A meets Rhiannon. She apologizes for texting so much. He tells her it's okay and he should have texted back. Completely different to Justin's personality. They decide to skip school and spend the day together. They have a great day. They go to the aquarium, sing together in the car, and have fun at the beach. While they walk Rhiannon tells him about her father's manic episode. Some years back and how it affected their relationship. She appreciates Justin caring about her life. Later A tells her tomorrow won't be like today. But Rhiannon says tomorrow is tomorrow. They kiss and she leaves. A seems attached to Rhiannon. The next day A wakes up as Amy. She takes a picture and sets the alarm. Amy starts school as a new student. In the meantime Justin keeps ignoring Rhiannon. Amy speaks to her and says she is a transfer student and wants Rhiannon to show her around. At chemistry Justin complains about missing practice yesterday. Rhiannon is hurt he doesn't remember what they did. Justin even blames her for missing practice. Amy is furious and tells him he is unappreciative of the only good thing in his life. Rhiannon tells her to stop and Justin leaves. Rhiannon then leaves. The next day A now is Nathan he looks for an address. Meanwhile Justin and Rhiannon are at a party. Justin leaves with his friends and she is left alone. Suddenly she sees Nathan dancing awkwardly. She joins him. While they dance together Justin approaches Rhiannon protectively. Nathan introduces himself as Steve's cousin and says he is gay. Justin returns to his friends. Nathan takes Rhiannon outside. They talk about her type in men and laugh. They speak for a long time, but Nathan has to go before 12. Justin finds out Steve has no cousin. He and his friends chase Nathan away. The next morning A wakes up as a blind boy so he stays in his room the whole day. Nathan has become famous saying he was possessed by a demon. Rhiannon gets a message telling her to go to a public place alone. She goes to the library and meets Megan. At first she says Nathan sent her but then she explains she is a spirit. She explains everything. She was Justin, Amy and Nathan. Rhiannon doesn't believe her but she tells her what she told Justin on their date. Rhiannon thinks this is some sick joke. Megan insists she is real but Rhiannon leaves. The next day she gets a message again. At a diner she meets an Asian boy. She asks him about all the things she did with the people he claims he has been. And he answers correctly. He introduces himself as a a name he gave himself. He explains every day he wakes in a body near the last one. He doesn't know if he has parents or where he was born. He has been changing bodies since he was a kid. He then shows her his Instagram where he posts pictures of everyone he has been. She is skeptical but begins to believe it. She meets Nathan. He says he was possessed by the devil and can't remember much form that day. The next day his phone was logged into the devil's Instagram. Rihanna now fully believes A. The next day a girl is looking at her and she assumes it's A. They speak about Nathan. A had to run from the party and didn't have time to log out of the account. Rihanna feels he invaded her privacy by kissing her as Justin. A apologizes he doesn't do that with everyone but she felt different. He felt a way he has never felt before that is way he told her his secret. Rihanna asks Justin what he remembers of that day. He says it's foggy. She asks question about their relationship but Justin is ignorant of the situation. The next day A wakes as George. He tells Rihanna to meet him in a library but pranks her by acting as if he doesn't know her. They talk about A life and end up kissing. But George's overprotective mother calls Rihanna a whore. She runs away in her car while smiling the whole time. Shockingly the next day A wakes up as Rihanna. She excitedly gets up and tells herself to be cool about this. A showers without looking at her body. At school Justin comes and kisses her. A is really nervous when Justin asks her to come over. She blows out and tells him he doesn't appreciate or understand her. 
A hopes she won't get mad at him for doing that. Later she goes to her dad's studio. The real Rhiannon would never do that. He even paints her and they bond. At night A writes what he did that day so Rhiannon can read it and goes to sleep. She reads the note the next day and decides to break up with Justin. She finally understands he isn't good for her. Justin wishes her luck before storming away. She calls A and tells him about the breakup. She feels it's the best decision in her life. A and Rhiannon drive to a cabin that his new body's uncle owns. They spend a great day together. They plan on meeting again tomorrow but A has to take his body back. So he leaves with the truck. Rhiannon waits for him the whole day but he doesn't come. She calls her mom to pick her up. Her mom is mad at her for making her drive three hours on a work day. The next day A wakes up as a guy that has to fly to Holland. But if he goes he will get transferred to a body in Holland. And will never come back. So he escapes and calls Rhiannon to help him. She picks him up and they barely get away. She is angry because he left her at the cabin. A explain he woke up as a girl that had a lung transplant. So he couldn't even call. The next day A wakes as Kelsey. Rhiannon comes to the house and they see the girl has a detailed plan to kill herself. Her father won't come home until 5 a.m. So A will try to stay in her body until then. At 11.59 A is still in her body. The next day A tells her dad she needs help. A and Rhiannon are happy they saved her life. The next day A wakes as Alexander. He says Alexander is a great guy. And Rhiannon tells him to stay in his body for some days so they can be together. A agrees. For the next days he completely invades Alexander's privacy. And declines all his mother's calls so he can be with Rhiannon. It turns out that day was Alexander's birthday and his family prepared a party for him. He fells bad for ignoring them all day. So he decides to leave the body tomorrow. A prepares dinner for Rhiannon. He tells her tomorrow he won't be Alexander as he doesn't want to take over his life. He tells her they can't be together forever. He says she should be with Alexander as he is perfect for her. They dance and talk and spend their last hours together. The next day A wakes up as a rich girl and drives away. At school Alexander compliments Rhiannon's smile and they walk to class together. We see A enjoying life in Central Park.